When the pandemic hit, I quickly realized I needed to get some exercise. I tried running, but I've never liked to run. I tried workout apps, but core workouts and boot camps bore me. And then, one weekend, my brother-in-law said, Dude, if you want to travel the world and escape the pandemic, you've got to try VR, man. It's gonna blow you away. It's amazing. So, I ordered one. This is a virtual reality workout app called Supernatural, and three or four days a week, I transport myself to exotic locales and squat and slice my way towards the fine physical specimen you see before you. He was right, I love it. I haven't worked out this hard in 27 years. Virtual reality is amazing. I'm a believer. But is virtual reality here to save virtual events and webinars? Here we go now. Hello and welcome to The Loyalty Loop. I'm Andrew Davis and today we're looking at the future of virtual events and webinars, both the long-term outlook and my big predictions for 2021. I'll also introduce you to the production paradox and reveal why most virtual sessions aren't engaging. Quick reminder, this is the fourth and final episode in my four-part series where we've been looking at how to make virtual events and webinars more profitable, successful, and engaging. And I'm in the middle of writing a comprehensive virtual engagement ebook, which should be out in the next few weeks. So, if you're interested in making your virtual events better, make sure you subscribe to The Loyalty Loop right now at loyaltyloopers.com and I'll send you a copy of the ebook as soon as it's ready. I love virtual reality, but virtual reality is the online event equivalent of the flying car. We've been promised it's coming, but it never seems to arrive. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's here. Not the flying car, but the VR experience. Anyone who tells you that VR events won't work or that no one is going to put on a headset and transport themselves to a virtual conference has not truly experienced VR. It is spectacular. Within minutes, my garage melts away and I'm immersed. So immersed, in fact, that in this boxing game, at the end of each round, I find myself thinking I can sit down on the stool at the corner of the ring. You can't. It's not really there. I know, a game or fitness app isn't the same as an online event, but I've tried some of the early VR event experiences, and while they're not exactly there yet, it's getting close. Look, there are two things holding virtual reality events back from taking off. One is consumer adoption of the physical VR headsets. During the pandemic, we saw 10 years of consumer technology adoption happen in just three months. And VR was no different. I'm proof that the analyst predictions of VR adoption are only accelerating. Here's the deal. The long-term future of online events is VR, but wide adoption is probably a decade away. And the second problem with VR events? Well, it all goes back to Lumiere's law. For VR events to truly work, we're going to need to reinvent the entire event for a virtual world instead of trying to recreate it in a virtual world. So what about today? What does the next year of virtual events, sessions, and webinars look like? Well, let me introduce you to the production paradox. But before I do that, let's define engagement. Yes, engagement. We all want to increase engagement. We want our webinars to be engaging. Engagement, engagement, engagement. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. To engage means to occupy, attract, or involve someone's interest or attention. And let's break down the two most important words there, interest and attention. Interest is the state of wanting to know something. Attention is regarding something as interesting or important. If we want to create engaging sessions, we must make sure each session is constantly inviting the viewer to want to know something. That's it. 
You shouldn't need polls and chats and breakout rooms, games, or gimmicks to create an engaging session. You need to invite your audience to chase answers. And one of the best ways to do this is to embrace the production paradox. I noticed something when the lockdowns rolled out globally last year. I noticed more and more television shows using consumer technology like iPhones and Zoom to produce hour-long TV shows. Meanwhile, I watched professional speakers invest in television production technology like switchers and fancy cameras to produce their webinars. Now, having a background in television, I found this fascinating, and as a professional speaker, I found it liberating. We can do things in the virtual world we could never do on stage, and this is the production paradox. As television shows look more like Zoom calls, Zoom calls are looking more like television shows. And there's a good reason. Television writers and producers know how to create engaging content. Content that occupies, attracts, or involves our interest or attention. And this is what I expect we'll see for 2021. We'll see more virtual events and webinars that look and feel like TV shows. So, as you think about your next webinar, virtual event, or online meeting, Take your inspiration from NCIS or Pioneer Woman, and you'll keep more attendees engaged for longer. Boom! That is a moment of inspiration. Next week, we're going to look at a B2B client experience that will knock your socks off. In the meantime, I'm gonna get in another round or two in my VR boxing ring. <laughs> and I'll see you next week in my loyalty loop.